What it? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. And welcome back to the landing strip, man. If this is your first time over here in the land of McFly, welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that notification bell, all that good stuff to keep you up to date with everything that I got going on. And it's always something going on. We currently on the road to 5K, trying to get that done as soon as possible. So if everybody sub up, we can get that 5K out of the way. You did. Easy. Uh, who has the heat, man? The battle aficionado channels will uh, be rolling back out soon, man. We got the LeBron battle coming up. We've got uh, couples battles coming up. Then we got season eight and tournament of champions. So uh, second half of the year is going to be a sh movie. You dig? So be sure to subscribe to that too. But um, for now, we here. We got a shoe and I'm going to show it to you. Today's flavor is going to be the booge. The military black force, man. Fasten your lap belts and let's prepare to take flight. All right, man, we got you locked and loaded on this close-up action for all my real verse fakers. Just giving you a shot of that size tag, man, so you can see how they coming. This is a size 14, so you already know it's a PP on the personal pair tip. Yeah, I really dig, you know what I'm saying? Retail on these bad boys was $210. Yes, the shoes are going up. You got the all Oreo splattered black Jordan box, flight written across the top, red jump, man, logo. A uh, decent touch on the box, man. Y'all know I like fancy boxes. Even though I don't keep boxes, it's good to see them initially. All Oreoed out except for the base. It's black. As you get in here, open this thing up. You've got your splatted paper. You've also got uh, some white paper. And as far as box look goes, that's about it. Except for the little green and white sticker back there in the back. Bam, that's your box. Shlack out, that is your shoe. Now, I was blessed by the fine folks at uh, Hibbit Sports for this uh, actual pair. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. I hadn't hit a pair of shoes on Hibbit since the alternate Bel Air 5. <laughs> I think that was like the last one that, that I actually hit on Hibbit. So it's been a minute. Um, this shoe appeared to be somewhat limited, man. I didn't see a whole lot of W's on these. I didn't see timeline full of got them got them got them got them so i don't know maybe all the pairs didn't come out or what but hibbit blessed me with these i struck out on nike Foot Locker pretty much everywhere the only dub i got was hibbit so yeah but y'all know every day is a struggle for a size 14 folks um let me know in the comments below man if you like this shoe did you cop uh, calling it the military black giving nods to the military blue four one of my favorite jordan fours i'm not a big jordan four guy but when i saw the pictures of these i was like man these are pretty cool and once i get them in hand we can figure out um what we're gonna do with them so i picked them up uh on release day um yeah so here we are just now getting to these reviews my backlog is incredible <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. So to get into it, man, you got your traditional Jordan 4 silhouette, traditional Jordan 4 color blocking. Um, this is the exact same color scheme as the military blue 4. It's just black instead of blue. That's the only difference. Uh, military blues have been rumored for several years, but they haven't dropped yet. They are overdue, and when they drop, I will have a pair. Um, starting out here, man, you've got your, you got your all white. Uh, with dominant white outsole you got some gray hits on the back gray hits on the front you see the black in between solid touch man if you're a raiders fan or anybody that has black and white colors this shoe is for you shoe for you you understand um as you see across your toe cap you've got this gray suede so okay i mean it ain't all that but this suede that's on there definitely a good hit for the actual uh actual look of the shoe the overall silhouette just breaking breaking up all that black and white you know which can kind of be a drag um you've got that all white midsole with your black hits lovely right uh up here for your lacing portion this is gray you have your white netting with the black underneath like the uh fire reds flat white laces same as the uh, side paneling going up the actual tongue tongue is leather with your silver tag black jumpman logo uh got your flight written down here in, a, in another form of silver or gray i'm um, just laying it all out back heel boom 
you got the Jumpman logo. I think anything that had Nike Air on the back at some point looks back looks better with Nike Air. Is that just me? Y'all feel the same way? Let me know. Because I always wondered how people thought about that. But, yeah, it is what it is. Interior, blacked out insole with the white Jumpman logo. Not sure how my camera picks that up, but I still try to show it. Anyway, just so... Uh, people can see it decently constructed shoe man you've got a decent little tumble leather on here y'all know i'm not big on tumble leathers but i mean this leather's okay it's not great oh your sock liner is a very light gray as well on your sock line thank god for that not being white wait let me make sure is that white no nah, that's great yeah that's a very faint light gray so you know those white um sock liners i can't stand but it is what it is man shoe is clean i really like the shoe uh, of course because i bought it so the leather is decent not the greatest leather in the world it's cool y'all know force a crust bucket so you might want to get you some force fills or something to stop your creasing <laughs> stop your creasing from creasing uh if at all possible um fit i'd say go true to size and jordan force no need to size up down none of that just stay right where you at and you should definitely be fine uh comfort jordan fours are not very comfortable shoes they're not uncomfortable either but comfort grade if i had to grade it i'd give them like a c in comfort it's not why wow and i'm not overly impressed with jordan four comfort even though they got air bubbles and everything else it just now nah, they they not that comfortable to me but for others some they are oh i forgot the back <clears throat> the back of the tongue it's black and you've got your Air Jordan upside down stitched in there. Yeah, I definitely did mention that earlier. So that's pretty much it to the shoe, man. Did y'all cop? How was y'all feeling? 210 price point was a bit high. I'm not going to hold you. But uh, if I see something I like it, I buy it. And um, that's what I did. That's what happened here. So decent little come up. Probably going to be restocks on these. So if you didn't get a pair, I'll probably stay away from resale. Um, just until maybe later in the year once you know they ain't coming back around because at some point these are going to restock I feel it's full family sizing and usually when they do that it'd be some more pairs in the, in the wings but if you've been paying attention to recent sneaker releases y'all know everything comes back around except like the mega hype the mega hype don't come back around but stuff like this always comes back around man so sit tight be patient don't feed the machine and until next time it's your boy McFly man be military black school I get back at you.